my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before it's amazing to have you here with me it's your girl Farida also known as Curly Proverbs and on this channel it's no kinks and no curls and no coils left behind we are all about that beast mode hair growth routines regimens tried and tested um ancient wisdom and new as well so if that's your kind of thing make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video we're currently going through a series called want long hair do this and we've been looking at several different things the first thing we looked at was oiling the hair and its importance for stimulating hair growth and length retention and then we went into uh, cleansing the hair but how could you cleanse your hair whilst adding nutrition to the hair we looked at rasal clay we looked at African black soap and we looked at all the different pros and cons of the different methods of cleansing so you could choose what suits you then we moved into what you could add to your deep conditioner again the idea being that we would give you several different suggestions um looking at the problem areas that they each help solve so you can decide what works best for you and today we are going to actually be looking at um, things that you can add to your deep conditioner or that you can add to your teas and supplement your regimen with that will add additional nourishment so these items I'm going to state whether you can put them into glosses deep conditioners teas rinses um, or infuse them into oil with each thing I'm going to actually state how you can utilize it because you can yes you can use it in your deep conditioner um, but you can also use it in some ways that basically are minimal fuss as well and um, we're going to also be touching on what combinations could work for you so that again you can build a regimen that works because we have to listen to our hair and give it what it needs it's not about listening to what this youtuber or that person says works for their hair what are your hair needs? So if that sounds good, then keep watching. The hour after these videos drop just does not really work. I will be doing a video on YouTube and also on my IG because Facebook has been giving me a lot of trouble. So IG Live and YouTube, we're going to have uh, a sit down and we're going to actually utilize some of these ingredients together and it gives you a chance to ask me questions um, on anything that you didn't feel like I covered in this video. So oh, also there's going to be a printable in the description box below to help you if you're taking notes and just to help you to order your thinking um, on what was mentioned. So we're going to be talking about Shea Bay first. <laughs> didn't know let me tell you we're taking it back to the motherland um the chad women have been using this for the longest time and they are renowned for having long thick 4c hair um and actually uh miss sahil uh was the person that actually brought this to the natural community um prominently brought it to our attention um a couple of years back now and there's been so much buzz about Shea Bay. Um, the way that it's used is that it's applied to the hair in a kind of a, a paste or, or like a grease um, It's applied to the hair and then the ladies don't uh, wash it out necessarily, they, they apply more, etc. And then eventually they will cleanse their hair. Um, and it gives amazing results. It's super duper uh, moisturizing and hydrating. Um, what I will say is that the ways that you could use it is one, you could infuse it into an oil. And bear in mind, an infusion is going to be a milder version of the benefits that you would reap. Whenever you're infusing it into an oil, it, uh, it kind of makes the, the benefits a bit more uh, muted. So if you're unsure about it, it could be a really good way to start its use. Um, the other way that you can use it is that you can uh, infuse it into a butter. Um, it's traditionally used with um, some sort of a grease um, to put it into the hair. So you could actually um, infuse it into a butter or you could actually whisk 
whip whisk it whip it into a butter and actually utilize it that way you could also make it into teas and you can also make it into rinses and one of the key characteristics of this is that it is super hydrating and strengthening to the head. the other thing that it does which is really interesting i was actually speaking to tiana and she told me that when she used it in her hair she did the traditional method i think for like two weeks and when she used it in her hair she found that her hair got pinkier and her hair got thicker and i actually noticed from a first application that it really tightened my curls so if your issue might be something like um loosening of your hair pattern because of the use of heat um or even a prolonged use of henna can elongate the curl as well um, and you really want to get your curls tighter you really want to get your curls back after a long time of blow drying it or not using it leaving it in its natural state shea bait can be wonderful for that and in fact if you're thinking of what you could combine it with if you wanted to use it um, not on its own i would suggest combining it with henna they both balance each other out beautifully the only thing i would say is use them together that in tandem um, as opposed to applying one then applying the next um, so that they're, they're balanced together the other thing I would say is if you're going to use it in its traditional method I would not suggest combining it with henna at all just use it as is but if you're going to use it in a deep conditioner then it definitely you can consider applying it with um, henna um, because henna can elongate the curl um, and they just balance each other out really really nicely with all of the items i'm going to say in this video i would always suggest that you test on a bit of skin and hair that is not visible from the front so that if you have any kind of a reaction or if it has any effect that you were not after that uh, you can see use and it won't be that big of a deal even the most natural amazing products because they are so good and because they are so potent can have reactions with different people shea bay is also said to actually increase and stimulate um, hair growth and help with length retention and hydration <laughs> I really want to mention is um, Amla. We have had a whole dedicated video on Amla. If you've not seen it, it's just here. Uh, be sure to check it out. Amla is an amazing, amazing Ayurvedic herb, and it is one that has got study after study after study after study showing that it thickens hair, it increases the number of hair follicles, and not only that, the density of the hair that is growing out of the hair follicles, it decreases visible scalp, not only that, it strengthens the hair from root to tip, um, literally from the first application, you can find that there is a difference. It also works really, really well if you combine it with henna, because henna um, and amla together give a more muted um, change in hair color, and they both work synergistically to strengthen the hair. Um, so if you're not looking for a crazy hair color change with henna, then amla really helps to balance that out. And I actually found that Amla helped to darken my hair when um, the hair colour was changed or, or brightened by um, henna. So if that's something you're after, definitely consider Amla. It's very, very rich in vitamin C um, and increases collagen production and keratin production. And it actually increases the rate of hair growth as well. So all round, it is a wonder herb, um, again, with lots of scientific um uh, uh, support the great thing is it uh, tends to most people have no side effects and when you stop using henna your hair is not going to fall out unlike minoxidil some hair growth stimulants such as regain which by the way works but trust me when you stop using regain all of that growth is going to fall out amla does not do that um so and it's not got any chemicals so i think it's a win 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 and minoxidil cannot be used if you have particular ailments as well so i'm saying check out amla but yeah amla works really really well if you combine it with henna you can also combine it with shikai kai as well but again use it in a singular step don't follow up with something else containing it. So don't put it into your deep conditioner and um, have it as like your spray in the week. It, it, no, it's 
not going to be such a good idea, especially if you're starting out. If you know what you're doing, maybe that could be something that you explore. But again, amla can be used as a tea, it can be used as a rinse, it could be used as um, an infused oil, it could be used um, in a deep conditioner as a straight mask or as a gloss. Um, but I would always suggest that you use it in a gloss or an oil to start just so that you can see how you manage your hair once it's been um, treated with amla. <laughs> Try to float, try to rise by the coast, by the tide, lot of hope is modified. Now, henna is the next thing. I don't even know if I need to keep mentioning henna at this point. It is my ride or die. If you know me, you know it is my number one absolute favorite ingredient. My mum used to put it in my hair when we lived in Sierra Leone. We just weren't consistent with it because we didn't know its power. Um, just a little lesson to being consistent. Um, I never saw results because I would use it like once a year, like or something ridiculous like that. But henna applied to hair is, listen, when I say rebuilding literal breaks and literal damage and areas of loss of material in your cuticle, that is what henna can do. Super strengthening, again, you can use it as a tea, a rinse, you can use it as a gloss, you can use it in your deep conditioner, you can use it as a straight mask. It does lighten the hair a little, it gives it kind of like a coppery tone, but to be honest, you can only really see that in my hair when I'm in the sun, inserts picture. <laughs> so you can see like, I'm indoors, you can't really see it, but when I'm outdoors, you can see like, hues of brown um, throughout my hair. Um, if you're applying it to your hair, just a little side note, it will turn gray hairs a sort of like a coppery color. Um, and if you're not interested in that, then you might want to look at using cassia. The other thing to note is that henna builds over your hair over time. It's very difficult to lift if you want to go in and add color at a later time. So please bear that in mind. It is a permanent color and it builds layer upon layer upon layer every time you add a treatment. And from the first treatment you will see a massive change in the strength of your hair again it can be used in the same way that amla can be used um, but again i would suggest starting off lightly and then building up and um, henna by the way uh builds up on the hair and what that can end up doing is that can end up thickening the dimensions of your hair it can also help if you have super high porosity hair it can really help to balance that out particularly if that's caused by um heat damage um high porosity hair absorbs lots of water but loses water loses hydration as quickly as it comes in literally within 10 minutes your hair feels dry if you have high porosity hair and you're not using the right butters and routine so um henna can actually correct that so that your hair is more balanced and actually in the long term more able to hold on to hydration but with all that said, it can elongate the curl of the hair. Um, and so that could be something that is undesirable. So therefore you might want to consider having it in a tea or in a gloss as opposed to a straight mask. <laughs> I want to talk about is rice water. Rice water has many benefits, uh, particularly if it's fermented. It has something called inositol in there, which is one of the uh, most uh, active ingredients within rice water. Um, and the Yao women have been using it for centuries. They have the longest hair in the Guinness Book of World Records. And ladies in the uh, Yao village essentially don't even get gray hairs if they're like 80 their hair still does not gray and what they do the yao women is that they wash their hair with this rice water in a bowl so they keep using it putting it through from their scalp to their ends they use it every three days and um it's all part of a ritual for them they use pomelo peel and they use camellia oil to hydrate as well um i find that rice water is strengthening and hydrating so bear that in mind when you're thinking of the things that you want to combine it with i would not necessarily uh combine it with henna um unless you're very experienced and you know how both interact with your hair singularly and you feel that you want to take the plunge um 
the other thing that I've had great success using it with is onion juice. Both combined really helped me postpartum with my shedding and really re-thickened my hair growth at the front because I was losing hair at an insane rate. It was kind of scary. I mean, I, I'd had a bad round with Jaya, but this was ridiculous. Um, so rice water works really, really well um, with onion juice um, and it works really, really well as a rinse. So wash your hair, ferment your rice, put it in your hair from roots to tip, resubmerge, make sure everything is completely saturated, leave it for maybe 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and then apply your moisturizing deep conditioner over the top and rinse. The other way that you can actually use it is as a sort of spritz or a strengthening spray. I would refrigerate it if you were gonna use it, and I would make sure that it's not continuing the fermentation process that you've actually removed the rice from it at this point. But you can use it as a rinse. You could also, if you can get a whole of um, rice powder you can actually add it to your deep conditioners as well um, super strengthening and moisturizing a really really is such a gem in uh, your arsenal of natural hair care <laughs> Rassel is an amazing ingredient as well. It has got cleansing properties too. Definitely check out the in-depth videos that I have done on that for more information. But Rassel cleanses and conditions at the same time. So if you want to cut out the um, additional step of having to cleanse and then deep condition, that could be something that you utilize. It pulls out toxins. I don't know if you've done like chemotherapy or something like that. It's just another way to like really pull toxins etc for medical treatments out of your body whilst really really nourishing your hair i wouldn't particularly recommend uh combining it with any ayurvedic herbs i just think it would be overkill no matter how much experience you have i really wouldn't necessarily add it um, to any ayurvedic herbs other than perhaps aloe vera um, they work really well together um, if you use the aloe vera juice or if you use the aloe vera powder um i wouldn't necessarily um recommend combining it with like henna or um, or anything like that you could add a tablespoon of it to your conditioner if you wanted to but i just prefer to use it as a straight mask it's intensely strengthening and intensely defining to the hair like it really leaves your curls popping like let me tell you something really i think second to none for giving you definition to your curls. Um, aloe vera and rassel work really well. Um, I'm painfully aware that I'm 20 minutes into this video and I have not even mentioned fenugreek, which is another love of mine. Um, if you want another video on um, more ingredients, then do let me know. But I have done an in-depth video on fenugreek, so I'm just gonna link that here as further information for you. I really don't want to make this an overly long video. But what I will say is hopefully now you have an idea of the different things that you can utilize and the problems that they treat. And if, for example, you're coming off the back of a medical treatment, or if, for example, you want to increase your curl definition, you'd look at Russell. If, for example, you want to regulate and uh, high porosity hair and add strength to your hair you would look at henna if you want strength and moisture you would look at a shea bay and henna um, combination so hopefully now you have an idea of some ingredients that you might want to include in your arsenal i'm going to link some good sources below um, so that you can check them out um, but honestly uh, they are game changers people that are just putting deep conditioner in their hair and are not utilizing these things as teas rinses or additions to their deep conditioner are really really missing a trick it, you know the, the game is, is is wide open at the, at this point if you're adding these things to your routine it will never be the same again especially if you are consistent so i hope you found this video useful um, don't forget guys that we are doing um ig chats following these in any case much love thank you so much for joining me and i will see you in the next video